Now it's back to our tool tip, where we show you how to make these Japanese rice paper screens using these materials and simple hand tools. Today, we're going to make some Japanese screen panels, which are a great alternative to traditional blinds, using this framing and a special rice paper film. You ready, Dean? Yeah, we've got about eight cuts to do at 265, so we'll set the, the measuring gauge on the mitre saw. First thing we do here, we'll measure this piece at 265. Measure and mark the Tasmanian oak beading at 265 millimetres. Then using the measured length, yep, set the saw stop on yep. the mitre saw and cut the end pieces yep. of each of the frames. That's the point. That's the point. We've divided our window opening into five, so we need ten end pieces. Now we're going to cut the beading to exactly the same size. It's six mil by six mil and it uh, runs alongside this part of the frame. You right, Dean? Yes, I am. Cut the 6mm beading to the same length as the frame pieces. It provides support for the acrylic sheet that's overlaid with the rice paper film. We then measure and mark the side pieces of the frame to 1200-13mm to and cut 10 lengths. The panels are easy to assemble. We pre-drill two holes in each corner and we'll use small panel pins to hold the frames together while the glue dries. Yep. You'll need a second pair of hands to help hold the frame in position as you drive in the panel pins. Use a fairly generous amount of glue. Wipe away any excess. That's great. Okay, so once you've got the frame together, you then glue the smaller pieces of beading, which are these ones, into position. Okay, so if you run a bit of glue down there... Having cut our 6mm by 6mm beading to match the long sides and short ends of the frame, we then apply aliphatic glue to the beading and position down the sides and ends of the frame. Because the material is fairly light, a generous amount of glue will easily hold it in position. OK. Well, as soon as that glue goes off, we'll stain them up and then we'll send them off to have the acrylic sheet cut and fitted. The rice paper film we've chosen is produced by the 3M company. The actual rice paper is laminated between two very strong layers of 3M film. Although the process looks fairly simple, the manufacturers recommend that it's carried out by their trained personnel. The film is a clear matte finish and is extremely hard wearing. Once it's overlaid on the acrylic sheet, it gives the appearance of traditional Japanese rice paper. While the experts are applying the film, we apply a dark stain to the Tasmanian oak frames. We run a bead of glue around the perimeter and cross frames of the beading and carefully place the finished rice paper panels into position. Make sure you wipe away any excess glue. You can use any simple track system to mount the sliding screens. Well, that looks great. The rice paper is brilliant, perfect for this room. And as an alternative to traditional curtaining, it looks fantastic. So do you want some sushi? Oh, yes, please. I've got it over here. Sushi!